Hey, BB, how you doing? Looking good. Got some eye bugs. Look, we've got rain. Finally, finally some rain. Hey, what's up, garden friend? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm great. This video's not about plants. I probably didn't need to explain because I'm sure it's in the title, sure it's in the thumbnail. The outdoor shower. You need to talk about it some. A few weeks ago, showed it in a video, expected to get roasted, didn't. People took a great interest to it, which really surprised me. Then a couple weeks later, which would be the video prior to this one, or the Saturday video prior to this one, talked about it briefly. I need to give an update on it and just some more information. I feel bad influencing in any kind of way for somebody to buy something or seek something out that I haven't given a fair test to, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned in both those videos saying like, I can't say much about it. I just got it. So here's how this works. The outdoor shower. Oh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, so this is because, all right, the pool, the chlorine and everything irritates my skin. You're in there, you know, for an hour or so a day, swimming back and forth, doing the laps. I decided it would be easier to get out, be able to rinse off outside and get on with my afternoon instead of like taking a morning shower, swimming, and then uh, having to shower and then going on with my day in the afternoon, working outside or even late morning at any point afterwards getting gross again the needing to shower again it's just too much with this just rinse the coin off that's all that's about and it's been nifty you know, all the yard work all the gardening you end up with dirt on the hands and dirt down on the legs and on the dogs and everything i can just come over here just turn a knob and rinse off so the full rundown on the shower foot wash hand wash right here has an adjustable thing you can take it off do whatever you need to there and then the shower head up here with a knob you turn to get it to run from the hose down below. The fitting that's on the back of this is a half inch fitting. So it's not made to standard US size hoses. It comes with a plastic quick connect, which somehow magically worked inside of my hose. Don't know how, but the problem is my hose over here. There's the hose, pardon the mess. I'm doing a lot of repots and things over here. It's a one inch hose, nice big girthy hose with a lot of water pressure, which could have been an issue that we'll talk about more towards the end of the video. To get this up and running, I had to hook a half inch line to it and put a clamp around it. You can see it's got a leak on it. I keep putting Teflon on it. So right now I've just been going back and forth and turning it on and off. That's something that I'll just have to keep messing with to get it fixed. That's plumbed in and everything has come over, turn it off, get it running. Once the leak is fixed, I won't have to go back and forth as often. Typical stuff, hot water that way, cold water over here, regular water in the middle. You turn it off, it takes a moment to fully shut off because it has a tank down below that holds 11 gallons of water and it's pressurized, so it has to depressurize to fully turn off. Solar heated, so this tank does heat up. It says to leave it out and have it someplace where it's going to get sun to warm the water up, which has been nice. The warm water has been great. I really like this. It has been getting a ton of use. Came in a good size package, just a couple big pieces and then a couple boxes with some smaller fittings in them. And then this top piece, literally you just set it on top and twist it, snaps onto the bottom piece, and you just connect the plumbing. Went together very, very easily. Connecting these two pieces, where you have to twist and get it through the washer, that wasn't that easy. That took the longest, but had to be a tight seal, so that's understandable. But here's the thing I wanted to talk about, because there were enough people who wanted links to the product and were interested in it. I need to give an update. This is the second one. And what, three, four weeks, three and a half weeks? I already had to get a replacement. And that's because the other one <laughs> exploded. <laughs> exploded is dramatic. I had it running. I was just flushing some water out of it because there's sort of a plasticky smell from all the stuff on the inside. I'm thrilled to be getting the chlorine off my skin, but not thrilled to then smell like plastic for the rest of the day until I was able to go take a shower again. So just running some water through it. It was running for like maybe a minute. And all of a sudden, the seam on the side down here popped open and water started shooting out everywhere. It was 103 degrees that day, but I don't think that should matter because this is supposed to be solar heated. And people are buying these or they're selling them to have out by their pool. And most people who have a pool have a lot of pavement. It's going to get hot or like around the beach. It gets hot. It should be able to stand up to the heat. And the metal paneling on that one, too, had started to peel off like right here. And it started to pull away. I was able to send it back, return it, get a new one. Not a big deal. 
there weren't a lot of reviews on the product. Actually, the one I ordered, there were zero reviews on. I found an identical one from a different seller where eight other people, I think it was eight people who had reviewed the product, they had said that it was working well for them and they had had it for a while and they didn't seem like fake reviews. So I figured, okay, I'll give it a shot again. It's not going to cost anything really. I already spent the money, get a new one. This one's holding up. I can't say better because I haven't had it as long as the other one, but I wanted to make sure that I fully explained how this works, how it has to be hooked up, some of the issues like that leakiness down there, which the other one, I didn't have that problem. So I don't really know what to do. I may just have to go with some plumber's putty and put like a metal fitting on there and get that sealed up that way. It'd probably be easier in the long run than coming out and putting the plumber's tape on it like every other day. That gets really annoying. It defeats the purpose of hard, not hard plumbing it, but actually hooking it into the hose. This runs all the way around the patio and goes over to a hose line so that you can just turn the <laughs> but the main thing was that the other one exploded. I thought I should make a little video. We should probably talk about that because it's not a good thing. I don't want people to think that I'm suggesting they should buy something and then have it pop on them. I mean, I don't feel that bad about it because I'm almost positive in each of the videos. I said, I don't know much about it. Haven't tried it. Just got it. Like something along those lines. Generally, if I recommend something, it's something I have tried and used. You notice I don't really take sponsorships. For things I haven't used, I don't really show off anything that brands send me for free because I have to have used it in order to say, hey, I like this product. I like to use it for a long time. Same thing with plants. I don't really talk about a plant if I haven't grown it for a pretty long time. I don't just go out and buy a plant and talk about it. Not unless it's something I've already grown and then got rid of, but people want a video on then I'll buy another one. We can talk about it. So there it is. Love the product, but buyer beware. Do you have one? Comment down below if you do, if you had the same issues. Did yours blow up on you? Did it pop, I should say? Explode. Dramatic, but it's more fun to describe it that way. And if this one does pop, explode. If, if a seam goes on this one, I'm just going to bite the bullet and get a nicer one. There are much nicer ones. This wasn't cheap, but as far as the outdoor showers have looked at, this is relatively affordable. They get very expensive. But I want something out here that looks nice and is functional. I know... It's a luxury, probably seems stupid, and that's fine if that's how it seems to you. To me, getting a lot of use out of it, my skin really appreciates it, and it's been really nifty with bathing the dogs, too. Not that it's hard to just hold up a hose and wash the dogs off. It's not hard to hold, take a hose and rinse yourself off either, but it's a lot easier to just turn the knob and stand under there. If you've been in there, you can swim a mile, mile and a half, you get out. It, I don't feel like staying around with the hose. Arms are jello. I just want to stand still let the water rinse over me that's enough of this stupid trying to justify my ridiculous <laughs> purchase talk you get the point there's the shower update sorry it's not a plant video but i just felt like this need to be its own thing because there had been enough comments and been getting a lot of dms on instagram and people who wanted more information about the shower this one is this down here amgm the other one said abbott when i ordered it but it Literally is the same thing that AMGM on it. You know, you can bulk order things from China and call them whatever you want to. And that's more than likely the case with this thing right here. Everybody's doing well, having a great day, great life, and everything just going beautifully for you. There'll be more plant things going on this weekend, probably. I mean, I would assume so. That is the nature of the channel. But you just never know. I don't like to make plans. You ready? You want it? All right. And of course, as always... <laughs> And most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.